Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about a switch configuration in GNS3. Uh, so uh, you know that it is not possible to run a Cisco iOS in uh, GNS3. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this option up here is to use a 3600 router as a switch. Uh, and in order to do that we have to get the iOS uh, for the 3600 router first. So that's what you need to do. So if you guys don't know how to do it, I'm going to show you. One, once you uh, got GNS3 open right here, you click on this router up here, router icon up here, and you click on 3600. So I already done that. So, and I have these two switch you see up here. They, uh, they like the 3600 routers. So I just changed that icon. So you, you right click up here and you click on configure. So once you click on configure, you're gonna click up here on this switch up here, switch uh, like where it says switch one, and you click on slot, and you're gonna choose up here this slot, uh, this module up here. This this module uh, is uh, NM16 ESW. They come like with uh, 16 port, 16 layer two port. So I can say 16 switch port, you know. So and you click OK, and you you're good to go, you know. So. Uh, once you, I already done that, so I was just uh, showing you for you guys that don't know how to do it. So uh, the purpose uh, of this video is to show you how to do the configuration because this configuration is uh, is slightly different to doing a real configuration on a on a real Cisco switch because we have to use what we call uh, the VLAN database mode. But before I go to the uh, VLAN uh, configuration, I'm gonna show you like I'm gonna do a show command and show you the difference that exists between uh, a GNS3 switch and, uh, and uh, a real Cisco switch. You see up here, if I put my mouse up here, I have 16 port, you know. I have the port from uh, 0 slash 1 all the way down to 0 slash 15. All those port, they are layer 2 port. So uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to open the console up here. I'm going to open the console up here. And once I open the console up here, let me exit from here because I was doing it. So I'm going to do uh, show show switch port so switch port uh, no, show interface sorry, interface interface uh, F zero slash uh, I think it's zero slash zero and uh, with the keywords to spot you know and once I do that you see up here what I have up here uh, this is what I told uh, uh, this this is what I'm trying to explain it to you so uh, this is going to be you see it's, it is going to be different if you have a real score switch because uh, if you have a 2950 switch or something like that, if you do the show switch port, uh, show interface switch port, it's going to show you like uh, administrative mode is going to be different, you know, operational mode. So let me just, because I copy a, a show command up here for a real Cisco switch and we're going to do the comparison, you know. So you see up here, what I put on, on red up here, that means they are different, you know. Like you see up here, administrative mode is a uh, dynamic auto and up here the administrative mode is a static access operational mode is say down and up here operational mode is a static access because you know that's uh, slightly different but the the bottom line is i'm trying to show you that you can use gns3 in order to uh, in uh, to do uh, some uh, some work on a, on a cisco switch you know but you have to keep in mind that there is some differences, you know, between a, a GNS3 switch and a Cisco switch. Uh, there are some some differences, you know. That, that's what I was trying to my, uh, what I was trying to tell you up here, you know. So we're gonna go back to the configuration. We're gonna use uh, what we call the VLAN database, and in order to do that, we're gonna we're gonna be uh, working on the privilege mode. We're not gonna we're not gonna go to the global configuration mode, but to use the VLAN database mode you have to do uh, you have to stay up here on the privilege mode and you type VLAN VLAN database that's what you type 
and once you type it here you are on the VLAN database mode you know and uh, this is where you need to create but I'm gonna show you you know because there are some caveat up here you know you have to need uh, you need to know about it you know so you uh, the VLAN you need to create it you have to put that VLAN number let's say you wanna create VLAN 10 you know you're gonna put VLAN 10 up here and uh, if you want you can put a name you know but for me for this video I just want to show you how to, you can do the you can use the question mark you know and uh, so you know there are a couple of options you can use up here but you know uh, my my purpose is uh, just to create uh, the VLAN up here I'm gonna you see the CR that means this command is valid so I'm gonna press enter and that's it and you see name VLAN 10 but uh, be careful up here if you press ctrl z uh, it's not gonna take uh, this it's gonna write over whatever you, you have configured what i mean about that if i press ctrl z uh, this vlan 10 will not be created so you have to be careful then the, so uh, the command you need to to execute in order to have this vlan configuration uh, this vlan 10 on this uh, on the on the configuration you, you need to press exit so once you type exit you see it say apply, apply completely you know and exiting because i know a lot of people they used to press ctrl z stuff like that when you press ctrl z it's not going to take this uh, this command you know so you have to keep that in mind so uh, so that was that creating the villain database and now the next uh, the next thing is assigning the port assigning a port to the villain you know and uh, uh, to assign the port you know that we have uh, we have four modes for about the port we have uh, switch port mode access switch port uh, dynamic desirable you have switch, uh, switch port dynamic auto and we have switch, switch port mode trunk now we have like four four mode we have switch port non negotiate so we have uh, switch port mode access switch port mode dynamic desirable we have switch port uh, dynamic auto we have switch port uh, mode trunk and we have switch port uh, non negotiate but uh, up here that's what i was telling you if you go let's go to the let's say you're gonna use a uh, let's go to global configuration i'm gonna show you something let's uh, say we, you want to assign interface uh, uh, f0 slash 1 to vlan 10 so we're gonna do interface interface f uh, zero slash one you want to assign that to vlan so uh, in order to assign that you, uh, the the command is the same so you're going to use uh, switch port switch port uh, switch port let's use the the question mark in order to see uh, you see the switch port mod that's what we have to use mod and uh, you're going to do uh, uh, switch port mod access access you know and uh, uh, and access the switch mode mode access now this is this is to my to the port and an and access port but uh, since the port is already an access port we need to do switch port access and uh, and it's going to show you it's going to show you the VLAN. Uh, it's going to give you the option to choose which VLAN you want to uh, access, uh, you want to like uh, associate this port you know like we want to assign this port to VLAN 10 so we're going to choose like uh, uh, VLAN 10 up here VLAN 10 and that's it you know so the configuration is the same but you have to keep in mind that uh, when I do up here switch port a mod up here you see up here the reason why I do that I want to show you something the dynamic up here you see dynamic this dynamic up here is missing like if you are working on a real devices usually you're gonna have a switch port and if you do the question mark you're gonna have access trunk and dynamic but uh, on the GNS3 switch you have to keep that in mind there is, what I can say is there are uh, some features uh, that you will not gonna have working in the GNS3 switch so you have to keep that in mind but uh, the reason why I, I make this video I, this is good for you guys that are going for your CCNA or you guys that are going for CC, even your CCNP, you can uh, use this uh, kind of switch, you know. But for you guys that are going for the CCIE, let me tell you something: you have to need, you have to go and get some real, uh, 
some real gear, you know, some real uh, Cisco switch because you, uh, there, there are not a lot of features, you know, about the CCIE up here, you know. But for, for you guys, CCNP and CCNA, you can stay up here, you know. Okay, enough with that. Uh, so let's go. So the next step is to uh, to do the configuration for the for the trunk port. And you know, up here, this port is access port. This port up here is the. Let me show you the port up here. Uh, up here, you see this port F0 slash zero up here on switch one, and F0 slash zero on switch two. They are all those port. They are access port. By default, the the GNS3 switch, all the port are access port. Just keep that in mind. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back to the console up here, and I'm going to exit from here, and I'm going to go to interface F0 slash zero, and uh, I'm going to do a switch port. I'm going to do uh, no. I'm going to do switch port in order to configure this port as a trunk port. Switch port mod trunk trunk switch port mod trunk you know and that's it just like you know once you that you need to do that you see and uh, let me tell you something there is no no isl uh, protocol uh, on those gns3 switch so the only protocol we're going to use uh, uh, the only protocol you're going to have to use is the that one key protocol you know and you see up here the this interface just go down because the reason why uh, this interface goes down this one is now a trunk this one is trunking but this one is an access port so in order to to fix that we, uh, we need to go up here on this uh, switch up here and we're going to start the console up here so we're going to start the console up here and we're going to do a uh, uh, conf t and we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do uh, interface interface f zero slash zero and uh, we're gonna do switch port switch port mod trunk uh, more, more trunk and uh, and that's it so it's, it, this should be fixed you see the port is going to go down say port fa0 slash 0 has become a double key trunk you know and uh, it's going to go down and it's going to come back up you know so let's go back up here and do the uh, show interface f zero slash zero and you're gonna add the keyword switch port switch port uh, switch switch port and you see up here now this port up here you see the, the port just come back up you know you see now the, the administrative mode for the port is now trunk the operational mode is trunk and uh, the only protocol I told you for this uh, kind of switch, they only use that one key. They don't, they don't use ISL, you know. That's why I told you this switch, this switch is only good for, for you guys that are uh, studying for the CCNA or the, C, uh, the CCNP, you know. So the last step is going to be uh, to go and uh, do some show command about uh, spanning tree. So in order to have, uh, to do the spanning tree, uh, in order to do the spanning tree uh, 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 up here on these two switch, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a link up here. So from F uh, F zero slash two zero slash two choose F zero slash two on this side up here too. So. Uh, so now let's go back up here and uh, uh, we're going to configure those uh, interfaces as the uh, trunk interface. I'm on, ra I'm, uh, I'm on switch one right now. So I'm going to exit from here and I'm going to do interface F0 slash 2 and I'm going to do a, a switch port. 
seed spot mod trunk uh, and uh, and I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna go to to switch uh, to do the same config uh, the same command global configuration I'm gonna go to interface f uh, zero slash zero no zero slash two uh, sorry about that and I'm gonna do switch port switch port switch port switch port mod I'm gonna do trunk switch port mod trunk and uh, and I guess uh, let me see if I uh, the spot may bounce back you know and come back up you know so let me uh, let me do some show command about spanning tree so and I'm gonna close this video I'm gonna do show uh, spanning tree spanning tree only so spanning tree so uh, since I only have uh, up here VLAN on this screen I have two VLAN I think this is the spanning tree for VLAN one. Uh, you see, I guess we want to show you that you have a, you have kind of like a switch up here on DNS three, you know, and that's that's good, you know. Sounds good to me, you know, for for you guys, uh, CCNA and CCMP guys, you know. VLAN one is executing the I triple E compatible spanning tree, uh, you know. We are the root of spanning tree. You see, that's what they say up here. We are the root. Of, so this is the bridge root, you know. This guy is a is the root of the of this uh, spanning tree, you know. So uh, and you see, this port is forwarding port. Zero slash zero is forwarding port. Is the forwarding port, and uh, zero slash two also uh, will be a forwarding port, you know. So uh, you see the cost and everything. So I let you guys, you know, do the rest of the, you know, spanning strat. You can do spanning tree. You can do VTP. You know, you can do a lot of stuff. Uh, is the switch you know but just just keep in mind that there are some features that are missing about uh, this gene uh, three switch uh, uh, but uh, the bottom line is uh, you have so uh, you can work with these uh, switches in gene three i don't believe what people say you know you cannot use uh, switches in gene three now so uh, uh, that was it for this video and i would like to thank you guys for watching and i see you for the next one thank you